I'm Nick from Nick's Nerf, and this is the review of the Hover Shot floating target game. It is a target, so the target has these styrofoam balls that just sit on top, and when you turn it on, they float up in the air. It comes with 12 of them, 6 of the big ones, and 6 of the little ones. It takes 5 on top, so you can put them in different combinations. I like to have three of the big ones and then two of the little ones. It takes four C batteries, which just go in this flight back here. You just undo these two screws, pop that off, and then install your four C batteries. The switch to turn it on is back here. Once you turn that on, it starts up and then the balls will start floating. It comes with five of these nozzles to install them. You just line them up and then turn, and then they're on there. I find with the middle one though, it's very loose and it doesn't lock in properly. It's, it's, it's a lot more loose than the other. It falls off, where the other ones tighten up there. So I don't know if that's just my model or if there's something wrong with all of them. It also comes with a gun. It's a basically a night finder. It has one dart in its barrel and then four dart storage. The darts are waffle head darts. It comes with six of them, so enough to fill it once and then have one extra dart. Now, what I find interesting about this is you prime it, you can either pull back this slide or pull back this loop. And in the instructions, it tells you to do both, which I just find very funny. The instructions say to pull it back and then pull this, even though you only have to do one. So, I mean, it's kind of cool how you have both options if you want it. The grip is very small and I only just fit my hand on there and it's not very comfortable. The trigger well is also very small. Um, I'm not a big fan of the dart storage because it tends to put indents in the darts, which isn't good, so I don't leave them in there for a long period of time. It has an iron side at the front. You just fire it, it feels like a normal springer. It's okay, average, wouldn't say it's anything great. I mean, it's really not about the gun in this. You'd be buying it for the target, not the gun. And the gun is just a cool extra that comes with it. It has this faux safety. It does nothing. You can't flick it down. It's just there for aesthetics. Now, I'll shoot at the target with this gun. So the prone, you can either push this slide back or pull this loop back. It's up to you. So elite darts actually have a very tight barrel fit, which is interesting. Like I'm almost, I'm having to twist them in. That one didn't even fire, the barrel was too tight for it. So it seems to work best with the included ammo. So my overall opinion is, I mean if you're looking for a target, this is fun because they float up. Um, they tend to fall off the balls if they're not, if they got any sort of damage on them. The balls tend to fly off, which is annoying. Apart from that, it's quite good. It's a little noisy, but not too bad. So yeah, if you're looking for a, a nice target that floats and is a bit different to your normal average target, then this is a good buy and I would recommend getting it. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.